Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with Afghanistan 11 by Every Single Soldier. Uh, this game just released today and was published by Slytherin. It's a pretty interesting game with a new take on the war game genre, really. And if you're familiar with Vietnam 65, you're going to be familiar with this game. However, it does expand on a couple of features. So, starting out, we're just going to talk over some of the basics. I'm going to ignore these tabs for now because they don't tell us a whole bunch that, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, you're not going to really know what a bunch of that is. But something important to go ahead and mention is that in the game, per mission, you're going to always have a political liaison uh, who's generally the pre president of Afghanistan. Uh, in this case, it's Jasur Zahir. Uh, we are the people who are for the people. Uh, his passive bonuses are the Afghanistan National Army handover penalty is down 20%. Uh, his funda fundamentalism Taliban missions are down 15%. And defense policy and a training time down one turn. And infrastructure PP cost per move is up one <laughs> PP. Anyway, so... Let's go right in. This right here is our headquarters. These are a bunch of towns that are scattered throughout the map. This flag here shows that they are loyal to Afghanistan, which is good because, again, we are fighting against the Taliban uh, in, in hopes to help out uh, the people and so on and so forth to fight terror and all that good nonsensical nonsense. So with that... Clicking on our headquarters, we're going to go ahead and start by building us a couple of reinforcements. I'm going to go ahead and call in about three different units. We're going to call in an additional unit of U.S. Special Forces. We're going to call in a Buffalo, and we're going to call in a Black Hawk, as well as a Howitzer, and finally a Husky. So you're probably wondering what all these things do. Well, infantry, clearly, is more of your, your not, I don't really want to say grunts, but they're the ones who are going to be doing most of the, the back-breaking work, man. They're going to be doing the fighting, bringing down the, the, the Taliban forces as you find them. They can also scan for IEDs and blow them up. That's a big, that's a big component in the game is IEDs and trying to avoid them. IEDs will seriously mess you up, so it's important that you're very careful about them. A husky is a dedicated IED destroyer. Essentially dry, driving it down uh, the street, it acts as a minesweeper, and whenever it finds an IED, it automatically destroys it. So it's important to have a husky to search for mines, but a husky is vulnerable with no weapons to fight back. With that said, you need troops to protect it as it goes down the road. An MRAP acts as a Humvee. Um, it's literally just a vehicle that transports your infantry, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it does. It makes it where they can move faster. It makes it where they don't lose rations. And instead, they use fuel. But if it runs out of fuel, it's not going to be able to move. Infantry and special forces both have rations. That's something important to remember. So if you send your troops too far out, they will starve to death, essentially, and, and you'll get in trouble. You'll lose political support uh, from the U.S., which is what you do not want to happen. Um, a buffalo is a builder unit. It actually constructs forward operating base and expands upon them. Um, that's all it really does. A black hawk is, once again, a transport. A chinook is a transport. They can transport not only supplies, but also troops. A howitzer is an artillery piece. Quite clearly, it is used to attack the enemy from a distance. An Apache is an attack helicopter. And I'm sure most of you, if you even know what this game is, or at least know anything about the military... You're probably pretty familiar with what I'm saying, and you're like, get on with it already. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and kick it into high gear and start doing things. Right off the bat, we're going to take Alpha Company, and we're going to move them outside of our forward operating base. We want to be careful, though. We don't know if there's any ID IEDs nearby, so we're going to go ahead and sweep the area and make sure there are none within the immediate vicinity of our base which there is not. Absolutely wonderful. Something else we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and send out a drone reconnaissance mission to see if we can find any enemy Taliban people within the area. So we'll just fly it over this area here. And it looks like we're good. There's no Taliban forces in the area. So let's just go ahead, and now that we're feeling a little bit braver, we're going to take out the Husky and we're going to drive it down the road a bit just to make sure there are no IEDs on the road. All right, there are none. Now, moving units does cost political support, so you don't want to move too many units. You don't want to have too many units overall. We're going to go ahead and take out the uh, helicopter, our Black Hawk. We're going to send it out, just a couple spaces, and we're going to load up these troops right here. 
All right. So they picked up those fellas, and we are going to look for the nearest Afghani village, which it looks like it's to the west there. Well, no, there's one here to the east. We're going to fly to this dude to the east, and we're going to end our turn with the, the, the Black Hawk. Yeah. So something that's important about this game is the hearts and minds feature. The hearts and minds feature essentially is how much the populace actually wants you there. Remember, we're trying essentially to get along with the people. We're not trying to fight the Afghanistan or the Afghani people. That would be a bad thing. We want to be on their good side. So with that, you need to be very careful about how you proceed with business with them. Um, so essentially doing good deeds like clearing out IEDs that are near villages or connecting roads to villages and stuff like that are going to make the Afghani people happier with you. They're going to make them like you more. Um, so you kind of want to be careful about how you do business in that respect. There's an IED on the road there, for example. So going to villages is also another major feature of the game. You want to fly around and basically take your troops, drop them in villages, and they will sit there and question the po the local populace and talk to them and see if there's any nearby Taliban forces or nearby IEDs that you can clear out for them. Now, generally, you're going to have uh, specific objectives to do, but in this case, the only one we actually have to do is we have to end the game with hearts and minds above 50, which should be pretty simple, all things considered. Uh, let's see. Do I want to take anyone else out? Yeah, we're going to take out Delta Company. We're just going to send them on down the, the side here. Hopefully, we don't run into any IEDs. That would be incredibly disappointing. Real quick, before we continue on to the next turn, it's important to mention what these three things do. Obviously, you've already seen the drone reconnaissance mission, where the drone flies around and spots things for us. However, you've also got emergency supply drops, which if you've sent troops too far outside of a base and you cannot resupply them, that is literally what that's for. You can drop in supplies. It brings either rations or fuel to those units. Infantry use rations. Everything else uses is fuel uh, and finally you've got the f-16 airstrike which is exactly what it says it is it calls in an airstrike and bombs an enemy position there's a chance that it will miss though so keep that in mind it's not always perfect and with that let's go ahead and end our turn looks like enemy forces are mobilizing but i see none of them so there's no one nearby that's really going to do any harm to us let's go ahead and take our black hawk helicopter we could fly it over the mountains here uh, I think that's what we'll do. We'll actually fly it over the mountains. Hopefully we don't run into anybody whilst doing so. All right, nice. So we're going to go ahead and drop our forces there in that village. And looks like there was no new intel gathered. So we'll just pick our, our dudes right back up. And we are going to fly towards this IED on the road. So you don't want to lose units. That's something else to be mentioned. Again, you have limited political support. And if you're sitting there dicking around, losing your soldiers, um, the people back home aren't exactly going to be happy about that. So you want to be very careful about how you go about your business. In this case, a risky move example would be like what I'm doing here. But we got an IED, so ultimately, I feel like it was worth it. We drove a bit more down the road. We're not going to go any further because that would be dumb. We're actually going to back up and go this way. and Stay near our Delta Force, guys. And the Buffalo is pretty much just going to move up a bit more as well. And it's going to stay behind the Delta Force, guys. Or the Delta, sorry, our U.S. Special Force is not necessarily Delta Force. Um... Our Delta Company, more specifically. So let's go ahead and end our turn. We already got something else. Economy and overdrive. All U.S. unit costs are decreased. Oh, shit. I guess I should have waited two turns before I went and bought a bunch of units then, huh? F screw me. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and take our helicopter. We're going to fly it over here to that IED. We're going to drop out our uh, forces right here, not on top of the IED. IED. And we are going to scan and get rid of those bastards. Boom. Good job, fellas. So we got rid of one of the IEDs. And again, you can see our hearts and minds go up. Sitting here clearing out these IEDs and making the population happy with us. I imagine they don't exactly look too kindly upon the Taliban forces just putting bombs in the middle of the road. Because they too use these roads. Which totally makes sense. And it looks like we found some Taliban forces over here to the far east of the map. 
Uh, we're not going to be able to get to them in time with our forces if we want to, but we could try airstriking them. Again, we're not going to kill them, but it would be a good demonstration of how little shits we give. So open fire. Let's bomb the boys. Wonderful. That was actually a one hit. I'm very happy with that. So we took them right out. It cost us only 300, but we got 500 political power and all. So we came out with a profit of 200 political power and wiped out a squad of Taliban militia. Now, there are more elite Taliban forces in the game, so you want to be careful. Uh, tanks and stuff like that are basically handled by the Afghan National Army. So let's call out some more infantry here. Uh, what else should we call out? Should I call out supply trucks? Might as well get a supply truck. I'm going to be moving supplies between these uh, two things here soon enough. We'll go ahead and get an MRAP as well. And we're basically just going to kind of leave that stuff in here for now. Um, Bravo Company is kind of just standing outside the gates, hanging out, smoking cigarettes, doing cool stuff like that. They're going to sweep the area and they're not going to find anything. But that's okay. No big deal. We're doing pretty good so far. So let's take our helicopter. Let's pick our boys back up. All right. And we're going to fly over here to this village in the west. And basically, this is a simplistic version. Again, this is just being a skirmish. We have no specific objectives to do aside from keep our hearts and minds in a good area. Um, because I'm not really, uh, I'm just, I'm messing around more than I'm really trying to do anything. I don't really mind this, but we are down to one fuel, so that's not good. What we're going to do is we're actually going to move the buffalo up the road a bit. We're going to build us a forward operating base right sha. Yeah, there we go. We'll build it right, right there. Nah, let's, nah, I want to build it this turn, so we'll build it there. All right, so we've constructed us a nice forward operating base. And uh, what else should we do? Should we build a construction yard, a field hospital, or a waterworks? We could build waterworks. I haven't actually done that. Um, I think we'll just build, like, a maintenance yard extension. Yeah. Uh, we can't build another thing this turn. That's okay. What we'll do, though, is we'll take our helicopter, and we're going to put it in the forward operating base. And we're not going to move it until we can resupply with fuel. So how are we going to get fuel? Well, pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and click over here. We're going to take our supply truck. We're going to fill it up with fuel. And we're going to embark it on its grand quest. And it's going to literally drive fuel right on over to the main base there. And just drop it right on off. Deliver the fuel. Good job. And so he basically delivered the fuel directly to... Um, the helicopter, and it's, we can just drive it right on back to the headquarters. Now, driving back to the headquarters is probably a little risky, but that's okay. I'm feeling pretty lucky right about now. Uh, things have been going pretty well for us thus far, and again, I'm just going to be stupid and send my husky down the road, and not going to run into Jack. Nothing. Didn't run into anything, but we'll pull back the husky a bit, because let's not be too, too redonkulous, now shall we? We will move Delta Company into the forward operating base since they're running low on rations. Uh, so they're good there. But we will need to resupply that area as well. Um, everything else is pretty good. Let's make sure our boys over here are fine. They can resupply from a nearby base, which is what they're going to do. And then they're going to move down the road a bit more. Yeah. So this is basically Afghanistan 11. Again, this is, this is a, not a specific scenario. This is just... Um, this is just a skirmish mission, kind of showing off what you can do in the game, what capabilities there are, and that this is actually a pretty fun little game. Yeah, I, I freaking lost my supply truck, so I got to go build another one. No big deal, right? We're actually just going to take all of our vehicles, plop them right there in the Ford operating base, and we're going to call that a day. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to take out Alpha Company and move them over here. But again, this is the game. It's a pretty cool game. I like it. Um, I'm very interested in this mechanic of hearts and minds, especially the liaison mechanic. Um, it does take you a little bit of time to realize what you're doing in the game here. But once you get a, a, an idea of what you're doing and you understand how the game works, it's actually, it's actually pretty fun. I, I actually dig this game. Uh, so I would recommend it to anybody who's a war game fan. Ooh, we found opium fields. Uh, I was going to bomb it, but we can't piss. That's all right. We'll pick, we'll pick our dudes back up and we'll go take it out. Get in the, get in the helicopter, boys. We're actually literally just going to end our turn because I want to go blow that field up. 
as as we speak. We could bomb the damn thing, but I don't know. That might be a little over excessive. After all, it is just a field of opium. Yeah, so we'll just go drop our dudes off like right over here. But this that the main idea of the game again is kind of the whole hearts and minds mechanic. Um, so if that does not interest you, then there's a strong possibility that this game in general uh, is not going to be your cup of tea. Yeah, light it on fire, boys. Boom. Oh, that was great. Just completely wiped it out. Nice little opium explosion uh, uh, effect. I dug that. I totally dug that. Uh, but anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope, at the very least, it's been relatively informative on bringing you some content uh, of, of a game you might find interesting. Um, again, I do recommend it. It's a pretty cool war game, and it, I like the hearts and minds mechanic just because it brings like this new idea to a war game rather than just focusing on stuff like morale or whatnot. You actually have to care about the people, and you have to be careful about how you deal with them, and you can't treat them like shit as some sort of expendable resource, which is cool, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, this has been CB, and I'll catch you guys next time.